tea in India. So here's the thing you need to know about tea in India. Tea, all tea, originally comes from India. So when we think about, you know, oh, what are some famous teas? I talked about Taiwan tea. I talked about Japan tea. All of that actually, it comes from India. It is where it began. And travelers from China discovered tea in India and brought it back home. And as the Chinese empire expanded, tea became a very important focus in their culture. And so, of course, everybody had to drink it and everybody was exposed to it. And then neighboring countries around China, as they did trade, of course, also were exposed to tea and just included it into their own lifestyle, their own habits. But the thing about tea in India is that Europeans, Westerners, it was through their traders that they discovered tea. But again, it was Indian tea. So Europeans who traveled through the Middle East and through the middle part of, of Asia came across other traders from India who brought the tea with them. So it was Europeans and like the British, their first exposure to tea was from India, not from Asia. Now, most tea from India is black tea, what we consider black tea. And so when a lot of uh, Westerners, when we drink tea, especially, you know, to breakfast tea in the morning or like a, a flavored tea, like with a peach or a berry or a, or a spice flavor, the, the tea in it is usually a black tea and it's usually Indian. It's an Indian black tea. And we're going to talk about the different varieties of the, of the tea that, that we can see here. Not all of it will be black tea, but, but we're going to see some uh, very shortly. First one that we see here, ma masala chai, very popular sweet uh, kind of tea drink, masala chai. But he, the thing about masala though, is that this is a this is a black tea, but it's brewed with herbs and spices together. That it's not added into it. It's brewed together with those things. And then once the, the tea is finished, uh, is prepared, they add a heavy milk to it. So that's why it has this color. And it's very delicious. It's like a snack by itself. Then there is butter tea. Butter tea, also a black tea. But this is usually prepared by people from very far north. Okay, in the northern part of India, like the Himalayas, Nepal, uh, Tibet, that part. And the way that they drink it, the tea is very, very strong. So it's brewed for a very long time. And they add butter. And the butter is usually from like yak's milk or, or goat's milk. So it's a very, very strong, thick cream that they add to it. It's a very bitter taste. Assam tea. So I talked. Uh, I was talking more about this black tea. Well, the the main black teas that people in India drink, and a, a most Westerners drink, is Assam or Ceylon. And Assam and Ceylon, very two very different regions. Uh, that they're named for the regions of of India, but um, but basically it's the the most common, most popular black teas that come from India. Then we will finish with Darjeeling. We're going to finish with Darjeeling. Darjeeling, of course, is maybe the most famous uh, Indian tea. It is, um, uh, there's many different kinds, of course. But, but basically, when you see this kind of tea, um, then you know right away that it's this color, this very specific color of the tea, um, then you know it is Darjeeling tea. Um, it also has a very unique smell to it. It's a good smell. It's a nice smell. When people think of a tea smell, what does tea smell like? What they're usually talking about is Darjeeling tea. And that is going to have to do it for our discussion 
of tea in India.